guys, how's it going? Today I kind of just want to do a little bit of a resin update. I still have a lot of these on hand, and I think I'm going to have a little bit of an auction in order to uh, in order to distribute these. Uh, probably will be hosted on my Facebook, so I'll keep you posted on that. But without further ado, I just wanted to show you what I've got. I have a lot of Alice ones left over. This one's a nice little diamond, silver diamond, with a little ass in the middle. workspace. Um, yeah, I have a couple of these, actually, with, I've got her in a little silver space. The ear doesn't go to really detracts from that, but, you know, there we go. Wee. And then I just had one in my hand. Ow. Well, whatever. I also have the card dudes, because we all love the card dudes, in a lovely blue background with a little hint of gold. Kind of cool, actually. I had, it just fell in from a neighboring piece, but yeah, that one's a little cutie. And I have a grumpy queen of hearts, or red queen. Yeah, she's not happy. In terms of other Alice pieces, I have a Cheshire Cat, which blends very nicely into his background. I have a lovely tea party with the Mad Hatter and the March Hare, and they're all enjoying macarons as well. Hooray! Stop talking and stuff. I think those are the main pieces that I have for Alice. I have a few smattering scattered here and there. Let's see. I have a lot of fishies left over. Which, those seem to be pretty popular. I love you, fishy. You're the fishy. You're the watery gray or something. I don't know. They kind of look like they're floating in there. I think it's cute. Another fishy. Fishy! Oh, yes, she's a fishy. Yes, she's a fishy. And a plant. This one's probably my favorite fishy. She's stuck in a world of bubbles. Oh, these are pretty colored. Uh, oh, this is another one. This one. I haven't really determined what exactly this shape is in my resin mold, but I have just definitely decided that is a lily pad or something. So that's why I probably put a lot of the fishies in this lily pad shape, because it's like a koi pond thing. Or what have you. On a similar note, I have a lot of these seashells left over. Yeah. Nice seashell pieces. I also have... Let's see... A lot of these cutesy animals. Yay! There's a hamster enjoying a thing. I think it's supposed to be a lollipop. But, yeah. This one's kind of yellow because it was in the sun. But. I have more of those in relation. Happy fucking cow. This cat is fucking happy. Oh, he's so crazy. He's got an orange on his head. I have. A lot of sprinkles left over. I know those are very popular. I got some sprinkle pendants still available. In this shape. And in this shape. Sprinkles with various glittery backgrounds. Let's see. These ones are one of my favorite. They are like... I got them in a cherry blossom themed sticker set, but they are very pretty and glittery. And there's things like tea, there's cherry blossoms. I got them in, I made them in a lot of these. A lot of them in pink, too. And let's see, go in with that one. Some more tea and sake. And a 
to you so I can figure out how camera works. Yellow earring. That one's covered in bubbles, but. Um, I have that series in other colors. I have one in a lovely mint green. I like how this one turned out. Blue is a cherry blossom inside a mint green background. It's very pretty. Shimmery and golden. Let's see, there's another one in pink and purple. Ooh. Hey, crap. Let's see. I have a couple of Mamegoma ones. The seal thing. I need to melt these, but there's him enjoying. Or I suppose it's upside down. No, it's upside down. He's apparently inside a fizzy soda. That is not how you use a straw. You're supposed to drink on the other side. Which is kind of weird. And I have his lovely parfait. I might pair those two or something. I don't know. I have ones that are just random glitters. Nothing special going on with these, except for the glitters are really pretty. I'll get better pictures. For the auction, I will probably get better pictures of these, so you can enjoy. I have a lot of Japanese treats as well, like this sushi bar charm. Eh, sushi bar, get it? It's a bar, it's sushi. Yeah, it's funny. I think it's funny. Laugh, damn it. Sushi bar. Alright, sushi bar. A bento box. Little bento box. It is so cute. Inside pink holographic glitter. You see that? A giant bento box surrounded by petals. There we go. Mm -hmm. Just a cute little bento box. And then I have. Let's see, what else do I have? I have a bunch of things over here. I have a bunch of these mannequin echoes left over from things and stuff. Some of them have yellowed because they have been out in the sun when I was doing a show. So I will be sure to denote these. But the, the uh, camera that I have is very good at um, detecting, distinguishing white from others. So you should be, definitely be able to see the details and what condition they are in before you buy. So I think that is it for my resin update so far. Let me uh, clean up some crap and I will show you the other goodies I got because I am very excited about these and I can't wait to show you. Be right back. All right, I am back. Now, recently I have purchased some uh, cabochons to use in resin all the way from China and it took me about a month to get them, but you know, I am not too displeased about that. I expect it. But after $15 well spent, I have received these little treasures. Allow me to present you with a freaking lollipop. Some of them have white bows. Some of them have pink bows. They have sprinkles all over them. They are adorable. Ooh, I bought a crap ton of those. I think I bought, I should buy a crap ton, I mean like 15. And then I bought these purple roses. They are covered in glitter. They're actually quite sizable and quite thick, so I'm not exactly sure if I can embed them or not. I might just, like, stick them in the back of something, or just glue them on or something, but I bought a bunch of those. And they're quite massive. And, yeah. I bought a smattering of M&Ms that are in not exactly M&M colors, but these are what I bought. They have the M's on them. A lot of pastel ones I have, which is okay, I guess. But, you know. Although I do know, this is legit because there are some colors like these that exist. You can go onto, I think, like Eminem's website or Mars website, and you can get, like, customizable colors in giant bags, but they're quite expensive. Probably because they don't manufacture. Oop, there's another one I got away. These things en masse. I got a couple of these strange Hello Kitty things. I think she's wearing a strawberry on her hat, or as a hat or something. I think that's what's going on, but for some reason the strawberry is white and she is pink. I would kind of want to do that the other way around, but 
they were cute regardless, so I bought them and I will use them in the future. After I purchase more resin from a different company. Because I want stuff that's UV protected. So I found a brand that is UV protected and I'm going to use that brand from here on out. Because I'm sick of my good pieces yellowing when I take them outside. I bought a few gumball machines. I think I only bought five of these. They're kind of cute, but they are rather huge, so I'd have to like use it in a big piece. But they're kind of cute. They're pink. And lastly, I bought a shit ton of these cats because when I found them, I was really excited. So I bought like 30 of these. These little cats are so freaking cute. He is holding a lollipop. A similar lollipop to the first one that I showed you. I think it is a miniaturized version of this. And drop the shit everywhere. I'm gonna put those down. I bought like 30 of these cats. But yeah, there's the lollipop that I bought. And there's my cat who has a similar lollipop. I originally bought a pair of earrings that featured these things on there. And I was like, holy crap, I can find the cabochons. They're freaking adorable. But this is my favorite cat ever. For unknown reasons. Yep. Those are my cabochons. And now, I have also bought, a long time ago, you may have seen me update about this, but I have, his back smells like incense. <laughs> um, I have purchased stickers again. And, oh, there's fuzz all over these. I have bought stickers of a variety of sweets with happy little faces. They are so excited that you are going to eat them. They cannot contain themselves. See, I was even being all like presumptuous about it. Like, yeah, you're gonna eat me, right? Yeah, yeah, wink, wink. <laughs> That's freaky. Um, anyway, they're all sparkly. They're adorable. I'm going to stick them into resin. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep all of these for myself. I think I might have some that are going to be for trading, if anyone is interested. And I'm kind of upset because some of these have fallen off, and I cannot locate them. Some of them fell off in the bag, which is cool. But, like, tried re, uh, replacing them, and I'm just like, ah, where are they? Mushroom team. I just really love the adorable ice cream. They're just like, hey, we're happy to be ice cream, but we're gonna get eaten. And we don't care because we have no brains. Anyway, so I bought those. Um, I bought these. This one, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put in resin all or just gonna hoard to myself, but I bought these stickers featuring Lava Yukata, some fish bowls, Bands, accessories, some hairpins, hair combs. They're just really freaking cute. Like this one, absolutely right here, is my favorite. It's a yukata with freaking fish all over it. But I have found a place where I can procure these en masse, so I might just wait and keep these for myself and buy the other ones later. Um, then I have these, which I'm not too thrilled about. I bought these. One, I have to paint the backs of them because they're transparent, and if I put them in resin, they are not going to be seen whatsoever. Two, some of the paint's smeared on one of them, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these at all. Like, you totally can't see it here, but, like, this donut, the paint just looks out of place, like it was touched as it was drying. And I'm not thrilled about that. But, they were cute, and you can't really see what you get on the internet. And, uh, yeah. Lastly, I bought three sticker sacks that I have since divided because I just couldn't contain myself. They're freaking adorable and I love them very much. But I bought. Yeah, I'm gonna fix my camera so you can actually see all that. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there. This is a lovely sweets one. I will show you the stickers very displeased Nochi Dumpling right there. He's not happy. Because him, unlike the rest of his brethren, know what's going on. 
they he's the only one that's aware that he's going to be eaten. Everybody's just like blissfully ignorant of the shit that's going on around them. Especially that guy. That guy is just way too fucking happy. I bought these star-shaped things. That one is a mage. And he's gonna fuck your couch. God, I haven't used that reference in ages. Ah. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's see. He's so happy with the stars and hearts and shit. These are some of the stickers that I found in them that I will show you. And then I bought this glittery stickers. This very super glittery package of sushi stickers. These ones show you the stickers that come in there and these giant ones in the back. They're really giant. I will show you those. I kept the packaging because, for reference, because I have a collection that I'm kind of a hoarder, so I can't really decide what I'm going to use, what I'm going to keep, and what I'm going to trade away. But, allow me to show you some of them. See, this is already my keep pile that I have. And those giant stickers are pretty giant, featuring two sushi chefs. One is a bear, one is a cat. One is a cat. And they are serving shit for you. Some of the stack, the sticker sacks came with these plastic pieces that are adhesive, but they're really freaking cute. I have a feeling once I embed them into resin, the only thing you're going to be able to see is the backing, the little sticker set. Yeah, and I'm going to just drop it all over the place. Anyway, but very contented, the happy star. And then, one of the sets that I just had to keep for myself, because I couldn't freaking decide, because if it was the food one, because these things are just too freaking cute. Look at this. The freaking orange beverage. And then there's this, this pound cake, who is making out with itself, because you, like, cut off a piece of it, and it's just like, oh yeah, I love myself. It's freaking Narcissus Pound Cake. That was, his th that was his name, right? Narcissus? Yeah. Narcissus. Narcissus, yes. Greek dude who drowned himself because he wanted to make out with himself. It's kind of the same thing. He's pound cake. Yeah. Uh, you, I have a really bad habit of making kawaii cute things just morbid. There is a plate of tempura and it looks like chicken katsu. Chicken katsu. And some freaking adorably cute sushi. Sushi! I took better picture of these later, but yes, this clan is very happy with himself. He's very pleased. His plans have all worked out. Let's see. And this very cute cinnamon roll thing. He's all like, yes, yes. He has no idea what he's so happy about. Let's see what other ones of note. If this peach, who looks very surprised if somebody poked him up the butt. Oh god! Anyway. Let's see. There's a very happy star. Heart. Heart star. Heart start. This is an ice cream that just got sat on by something. And he's not happy about being sat on by something. Unless it, like, farted on top of him. I would definitely not be happy if some random pink blob just sat on top of me and started farting. Would you? Yeah, I thought not. More happy stars! This cake! A fruit cake! A cake with fruit on it. And a thing that I guess is supposed to be a dog or a seal. Um, a sandwich and a soup. A soup and sandwich. Yes, here I go. A strawberry. Oh no, that's a that's a mochi. Well, how, how come it's upside down? Oh, I guess that's the way it goes. Uh, it's a um, strawberry inside a mochi thing, and red beans. Surrounded by red bean taste. Let's see. Another happy star thing. Hey, and better. Story. I ran out of stories to invent for these guys. These look like cookies. He looks like a jelly cookie cookie. Cookie. But I think I have to buy another one of those food sets because I just totally kept most of them for myself. 
I don't plan on actually using them. There's a bonus fishy. And another star heart star thing. Kind of boring. Alright. Onto the flakes themselves. I was just completely enamored with the food ones. Because they're so expressive and they're so happy and I just I just can't. I just I just can't comprehend this. There we go. Some sushi. Sushi. More sushi. Dango. I like the dango. The dango is really cute. Yeah. Yes. More sushi. Let's see how these start. Can't talk. Where are these stars? Where are they? Another one. There's a food cart thing of some form with some things sitting in it. More of these star things. Anyway, so that's pretty much my adventures in purchasing cute and adorable things. Um, once again, I have some that are going to be available for trade, so if anybody's interested, feel free to poke me, note me, whatever. Um, that Which brings me to another question. I have also started considering offering resin filler kits um, which would include things like these stickers, flakes, these sticker pack sets, um, the cabochons like the cats and other things as well as several shapes of glitter. Um, if this is interesting to you, I was going to probably bundle them up and uh, ah, hit my mic. Um, Five dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar packs. If this is something that would be interest <coughs> interesting to you, um, comment below as well, because I'm kind of on the fence about it. It's another expense for me, but if people would enjoy it, um, I would be happy to offer it for you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks again for um, tolerating my ranting, and I hope you were at least a little bit entertained. Uh, I don't know what I have in store in terms of jewelry. But, um, yeah, comment down below, thanks for tolerating me, and I will see you next time.